Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. This is my second event for today. Uh, the first was at News 2 at uh, 645. Mm. And uh, uh, so that kind of gets you up and going. But it's not good for the morning exercise routine. Uh, the work that you're doing here this morning is very important to our community. Uh, we are making progress as one Greensboro. Uh, we hired a new city attorney last week. His name is Rajiv Shakan. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about Rajiv. Uh, he is uh, from Charlotte. Uh, uh, is a, was in the city attorney's office for 10 years in Charlotte. Before that, he worked for the Poyer School Law Firm as a litigator. In my view, he will be an outstanding addition to our team in Greensboro, providing the best legal advice and elevate the standard of our city legal department tremendously uh, statewide. So welcome him when you see him. Uh, his first council meeting will be an introductory one May 1st, and he'll come to work with us scheduled uh, June 1st, but I'm trying to twist his arm and get him here a little earlier. Um, we are also, uh, uh, I, I also want to let you know that I'm going to be going to Israel on May 4th, and uh, that's Friday a week, and be returning Friday, May 11th. Uh, it's a trip that I'll be a guest of the Israeli government. The city of Greensboro pays for the plane ticket, and the government of Israel pays for the rest. And uh, it's a mayor's conference. It's the 28th annual mayor's conference in, in Israel. And there will be six of us from the United States, the, the, uh, uh, the next closest uh, physical distance from a, a, a former mayor that's attending is from Savannah, Georgia. Uh, and uh, then there'll be folks from all over the world. And we'll be, the, the, the focus of the conference is going to be on homeland security, which is uh, what the Israelis do best. But uh, uh, it's a dual purpose for me wanting to go over there, really three or four things. One is, uh, is jobs and economic development. I feel like we've got to get out of the box in terms of our thinking. And the Israelis have been so innovative in the way that they have uh, worked in the fields of technology, which is a good pairing for us with our universities. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so we plan hope to, 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 to make a few contacts there. Uh, secondly, uh, Israel is a very diverse melting pot and how they have worked together to try to blend all of those cultures in together is something that I think is worth studying. And third is a, a, a very selfish reason. I've never been there, never thought I would go, and this kind of pushed me over the edge, and mm -hmm. I said yes. So mm -hmm. it, it's a good thing. Um, uh, folks, uh, when I'm gone uh, over there, uh, we will have a critical event in the uh, in, in our state's history, and that is the May 8th election. And uh, Amendment 1 must be defeated. Cheers. We, we don't, you know, we don't have many options uh, of sitting at home that day, and the energy uh, that's going to be needed out of groups like this to bring all of your friends to the polls to get them aware of the significance of what we're doing. This is a discriminatory uh, uh, piece of legislation. It affects all of our civil rights. When you affect someone's civil rights, you affect my civil rights, and that's where we're going with this thing. Uh, the, the, the other part of it is that uh, uh, this is a huge blow if it passes against economic development in our state. How can we pretend to be a progressive area that welcomes all people, that wants to be proactive in business in the next 20 or 25 or 30 years, and pass something that's going to set us back dramatically? Um, it, it just is inconceivable to me that it's even on the ballot. I am sad that it's on the ballot. I am embarrassed that it's on the ballot. Uh, and hopefully the turnout in our state will reflect the true attitude of our citizens and we will defeat this. Uh, polling at this point shows it's going to be a neck and neck race. Uh, I was in Pinehurst last Friday and I saw too many signs that weren't blue. Way too many signs that weren't blue. And, uh, and, and so we need to, 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 to work extra hard between now and May to make this happen. Uh, uh, it, it, uh, uh, we, and I think we can. 
I, I think we can. But we have to do it in a very focused way. It's going to take a lot of energy. And no one who has a conscience in North Carolina and wants to do the type of work that all of you are engaged in today can sit home and have this thing pass. We just can't allow it to happen. So thank you for doing the work that you do. Uh, I'm supporting you. I'm uh, going to head to City Hall now, but uh, I understand that, uh, uh, that this group is going to be really one of the core groups in, in trying to get out the work. So go back to your organizations, tell them why it's important, and tell them that we've got to do something about it. Thank you very much. <laughs>